has limited communication, mm. not able to express his emotion, but he can speak with art. Okay, look at that. Still alive and banana and kiwi still alive? Blue mountains? That's my favorite. Mums? In 1951? A long ago? My mother noticed that Daniel was avoiding eye contact, showing up autism around age of two. No, no, don't touch. He speak, but his sentence is sometimes not meaningful. Same sentence, repeating and repeating. <laughs> Everything's fine. Yes, no worries. It was really hard to accept my son as a special boy. I was compared all the time with the normal kids. What are they doing? One of child care teacher mentioned to me, Joy, Daniel is very good at drawing. Can you find it for me? <gasps> Look at that. This is Daniel's first portrait. He was a finalist under the age 21. It was in National Portrait Gallery. Shake hands. Do you like it? I like it very much. Yeah. As a mom and dad looking, he's focusing something really, really. Mm, excited. <laughs> Daniel is the kind of artist who can paint like a photograph. On first seeing the kind of talent that Daniel has, it just seemed a no-brainer that Daniel should be able to make some kind of employment pathway through his practice. He has been commissioned by Craig Meller, the previous CEO of AMP, their chair, Richard Grellman, John Ajaka, the president of the Legislative Council, and Minister Ray Williams, the state minister for disability. Daniel is about to paint a portrait of Minister Matt Keane, local minister for Hornsby. So what we do for all our Studio A artists is to try to connect them with like-minded artists. Greg Warburton is a multiple Archibald finalist, so he has the perfect mix of talent and experience to be a mentor for Daniel Kim. We started working together, I think, four or five years ago. Ah, oh, Santa's arrived. Well, we've been very busy working on portrait commissions over the last few years. He's very quick doing a drawing. He'll complete a drawing in, a, in an hour. The paintings will take longer. And we're currently working on a portrait of Matt Keane. We're working our way through the Liberal Party. Daniel has done some preliminary sketches. He'll be taking those to the office to present to Matt, and we'll see what comes out of that. Ah, oh, Sydney traffic. Does the traffic bother you? Yes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Matt Kinn. Say so, hello. Hello. Daniel. Perfect. Well done. Any portrait painter will tell you that connection between the sitter and the painter is an important element. Oh, Matt, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. Do you recognise this one? Yeah, I, I like this one. Who did that? I did that. You did? <laughs> I did that. You did? I in the grounds of Government House? Government House. It's good for whoever the, the subject is to get to know Daniel and how he communicates to people. This is his initial sketch. Oh, wow. Jeez. You've even given me a bit more hair. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that. You can see that he enjoys giving the person something and getting that positive response. H how hard is it to do that? Easy. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, you don't have a great product to work with, but you've done a fantastic okay. job. We've got to be a little bit conscious of the expectations of the client. Matt seems to want a portrait that presents him, you know, the coat off and the cuffs rolled up. He's even got my crooked tie right. Got, <laughs> if, it's not his fault if you didn't do your tie I, don't, I didn't do my tie properly. <laughs> Dan, Daniel paints what he sees. Yeah. He doesn't let much escape his notice. Shall we get some paint first, Edna? Yeah, what's on the list? Your birth, Edna. Matt had a pretty clear idea about the type of picture he wanted, so we've taken that and we've made some alterations to make it fit a particular size and composition. And we're going to include a poster of JFK in the background, which Matt was very keen to have incorporated into the picture. So uh, 
He's going to get two portraits for one. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Nice to see you, Daniel. Nice to see you, my friend. He has his routines when he comes to the studio, so if he's here for four hours, it doesn't mean he's actually painting for four hours. You know, takes things out of the fridge and reaches into his bag for some crisps and gets himself sorted, and then he moves into the work. You know, if he's happy, he's singing and making happy noises. The spider. I don't put up too many barriers for him. In, in the end, he's got to do his work his way. Coming along, isn't I it? I can see the personality. Yeah, yeah, the personality, and that's what he wanted yeah. to project. He wanted to project that sort of personality. And look at the beautiful and he was... One of the criticisms of hyper-real paintings is that they lose some sense of, of depth and expression. So what I've tried to do with Daniel is, what is that thing? You know, what are you looking for? How did you get that expression? Sometimes it's just one little, you know, cock of an eyebrow or a Mona Lisa smile or something like that. That's got his, that's got the look in his eye. That's good. Yeah. So there's no need to rush. No, no need to rush. No need to rush. Don't worry about the date. Don't worry about the date. Some things take time. But it has been a, quite a complex picture. Had a few challenging moments. Most of the other portraits he's done are effectively of just of the people's faces or torsos. So there's a fair bit to uh, put into this picture. There's a lot of content. Daniel's pacing himself quite nicely. You look very happy, Daniel. You're enjoying this. It's nearly finished. That looks good. I know he's finished when he signs. When he signs the work, He's, he's definitely saying that that's it. Okay. Where is Gregor? Gregor is coming to Hotel. office. How are you feeling? I'm feeling very excited. I'm excited? Very excited? Good. High five. Let's have a good day today. Daniel, good morning. Nice How are you, mate? Nice to see you. How are you going? That's a great day today. It's a great day today, yeah. <laughs> Presentation day. Should, should we go into the office to have a look? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Here we wow. Go. Here we go. That's the mask kids portrait. Wow. <laughs> mate, I'm absolutely blown away by this. The role of Daniel's art in his life is crucial to his life. As a communication device, we can all share it because we can all look at the work. The detail is just so impressive. Well, and you got my Kennedy in there. You, you know what I think I might do, Daniel? Yes. Can I swap it? Yes. Ah, now we're talking. Oh. It's going to take pride of place on my wall, Daniel. Wow. How's that, mate? Yeah, that, that's good. I totally love it. I just love it. Language doesn't go about my English. <laughs> <laughs> He don't need to marry, he don't need to become a member of soccer team. He can be happy as he is, as artist. So Daniel, that's the end of that project. Oh, I'm finished. We have to think about the next one now. <laughs> next one. <laughs> that's it. Work on something for the Archibald Prize.